South Florida is mobilizing to fight an incursion by alien mollusks. The invaders may be slow moving, but scientists are in a hurry to stop them. Bigad Shaban reports from the battlefront. They are the sounds of an invasion. The march of giant African land snails, one of the world's most invasive species. They took Ryan Kesser's garden in Miami, and he says his appetite. Uh, I see gigantic snails, and they're really slithery and juicy, and they have all kinds of fluids coming out. How many snails would you say have been found here at your house? Uh, at least a thousand. It's still unclear how they got here. The snails are native to East Africa, but just last month, a few were spotted at a South Florida home. Now, at least nine neighborhoods are infested, and more than 24,000 snails have been recovered. It's, it's nasty. It's really nasty. Grace Armiento keeps finding them on the side of her home. They eat stucco. We've got a lot of snail damage in here. And over 500 different types of plants. It is a known carrier of meningitis. So this snail is one bad dude for the environment, for humans, and for our economy. The snails are thriving in trash, under moss, and even inside coconuts. They're all over the place. Dr. Paul Skelly is Florida's lead scientist, driving the hunt to find, then freeze to death every last snail. How long do you think Florida could be dealing with this latest outbreak? Oh, it's, it's already, we're planning years. Another one. It took nearly a decade and a million dollars to eradicate the state's last infestation in the 1960s. There are fears this one could stretch beyond Florida. Um, it could move actually in yard debris, yard waste, uh, garbage, uh, move to landfills. At home, Ryan Kesser discovers new snails almost daily. But because one snail can lay up to 1,200 eggs a year, he, like others in the search, may find it hard to keep up. Even with the pest moving, at a snail's pace. Begad Shaban, CBS News, Miami.